Oh, missed it. My wife and I were married about three years ago, and she lives in southern Tianjin, and I live in Beijing. And so uh, that set up a situation where we needed to visit one another. It's only 30 minutes from Beijing to Tianjin. Randy is an American who currently works in Beijing, while his Chinese wife lives in Tianjin. Every week, Randy has to go back and forth between Beijing and Tianjin. So what is this experience like? We are arriving at Tonghuang Yu Station. We accompanied Randy on his weekly journey back home. The first part of the journey is riding a subway to the train station. Uh, I was very happy when Beijing opened Line 14, the new Line 14, because uh, before that I had to ride Line 10, a long way around to Line 4, and then back north to the train station, or I had to go through the center of the city on Line 1, and then south on Line 4. And uh, Line 14 allows me to uh, uh, just one subway transfer, and I'm at the railway station, so it's very easy. Once you get to the Beijing South Railway Station, it's very pleasant. You can buy a ticket easily at any time. I never buy tickets in advance or reserve a ticket in advance. I just buy them at the station. The price is very good. It's uh, uh, 65 and a half yuan, and uh, that's for a first class ticket. You can buy a regular ticket for a little bit less money, but it's not worth it. The first class tickets uh, give you a bigger seat, much more comfortable, so I always buy a first class ticket. It's 30 minutes. A prepaid express card has already been issued for the Beijing Tianjin Intercity Railway, offering exclusive entrance channels at stations, so frequent travelers don't have to buy tickets in advance or wait in line to board. Buying the ticket for the subway, I think it's two yuan. Uh, true integration would mean I can take my Beijing card that's good on the subway and the bus, and would also be good on the Tianjin subway and bus. A unified prepaid traffic card already exists in 13 cities within the Beijing Tianjin Globe region, and the use of this card will be expanded to all the buses in this region by the end of 2017. Uh, I used to have to walk from the train station to the bus stop. About a year ago, I think they opened a subway line from Tianjin Railway Station to the bus stop, so I can ride line three and go directly from the train station to the bus stop. That's very convenient. That's been a big help. Yeah, so now we're on the 688 bus to Dagang. To get to the Dagang district is about an hour and uh, 10 minutes, and then uh, about 20 minutes past that to home. So uh, it's a long ride. Sometimes I can get some sleep. Uh, from here to home is about 15 minutes, maybe 20. We took a taxi. We'll be there soon. All right. I love you. Hey, how are you? Uh, when my wife and I redecorated our house in Dagang, we came to this uh, market area. There's many streets here and uh, some supermarkets. Uh, very good prices compared to Beijing. If, if I were buying a house in Beijing to redecorate, uh, I would want to come here to buy the things to do it with and so if that could somehow be opened as a market to people from Beijing, I think that would be a great positive thing. In Randy's mind, transportation is the key to effectively integrating these two cities. The proposal of a high-speed rail network in the region was approved last year, with the beijing tianjin binhai New Area Intercity Railway expected to be completed by 2020. There are also four new subway lines to be built to link Beijing and neighboring Hebei province by 2021 as part of the Beijing Tianjin Hebei Integrated Development Plan. These measures would be greatly beneficial to people like Randy who live and work in neighboring cities in the area.